Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. I'm Emily Clark. And I'm Rick Aaron. The outcome was nearly tragic when a pair of Payson teenagers rolled over in their off-road utility vehicle last week. But they are both still alive thanks to what their families say was a series of miracles. 15-year-old friends Sadie Bowen and Avery Bott were having a blast driving this UTV last Thursday. But minutes after they took this selfie, they rolled several times into a ditch. Avery's mother believes her daughter made a last-second decision to save her friend. She cranked the wheel so that she would hit the ground instead of Sadie. I know she sacrificed herself to protect Sadie because she doesn't, as we're talking, she doesn't think Sadie would have survived the impact. I don't know how I survived. When I had rolled, it felt like someone had put their hands on me. And my first thought goes to my uncle that died, my uncle Dean. And it kind of felt like I had grabbed his hand when I had climbed out. But I look around and no one was there. It was definitely a miracle. Sadie had bruises and a concussion while Avery was suspended upside down in her seatbelt with broken ribs and punctures to her aorta, lungs, spleen, and liver struggling to breathe. I was really scared. I knew I wasn't able to give up because I was out alone by myself and I knew if I would have given up, she would have died. So. Unable to get Avery free, Sadie broke a side mirror with her fist. And I used a piece of glass and I had sawed her out of her seatbelt. And I was able to carefully lower her to the ground. The doctors have said if she was left hanging in that position, as Sadie didn't break the mirror and saw the seatbelt off of her, she would have died dangling in that position. Avery's phone had dialed 911 on its own, but dispatchers weren't able to pinpoint their location. Just then, a group of Good Samaritans rode by and stopped to help. They had a GPS, which guided rescuers and a medical helicopter to the crash site. They got there just in time to save Avery. Grateful to the many miracles that happened that day. Grateful to Sadie for being our little hero. Grateful for the Good Samaritans that stayed with us that actually guided life flight there that couldn't get the right coordinates. On Sunday, Sadie was able to visit Avery in the cardiac ICU at Primary Children's Hospital. And though she's not up to speaking about the incident just yet, Avery did write a letter for her mother to read. I'm so grateful Sadie saved me. It sucks that we got in the crash, but I know Sadie was supposed to be with me. I'm grateful my phone dialed 911 for us. I felt my grandma, who's passed away, and my great-grandma surrounding me, and they were there helping me. Well, Avery remains in the hospital this afternoon, where her mother says she is now out of critical condition and on her way to a full recovery. Just an unbelievable series of events, how it all unfolded like that. And unfortunate that it happened in the first place, but so glad that it turned out as well as it did. Really, this was the best outcome they could have hoped for with how serious that accident right. was. And the fact that those people rode up, that was very, very lucky. And the phone automatically dialing 911 really helped to start getting medical personnel to that area. So Just incredible and a yeah. wonderful story as always. Okay, now moving on in our headlines this hour.